Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference with our great sales department, service department, and parts department. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Hey folks, happy Friday. Hope you had a lovely week so far. It's definitely been a wet one, that's for sure. So if you were kind of tired of that drought sort of pattern, well, hopefully you've had a nice one, right? Because the pattern actually still looks kind of damp, right? Over the next several days, we're not really letting go of those rain chances in any huge way, and we're still cooler for now, right? I do think those rain chances do keep the temperatures fairly moderated for the next few days, but we do have a warming trend returning, at least signs of right now, point to that as we head through next week, really starting Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we're still a ways out from the trend of warmth coming back, right? But it is there, right? We're starting to see the signs. So let's take a look at the future cast next 24 hours. Signs of showers through this morning are strong on these indications through the models here, and it looks like they linger through the day. We also see some of that development, a garden variety type thunderstorms here in the afternoon hours. So looks like we're picking up some pretty steady rain chances once again through today, like we've seen over the last several days. As we head through the evening, pretty much dry out there for the most part. Maybe a few lingering showers, but those don't look particularly widespread. Then of course, as we head through our Saturday, so through tomorrow, well, we kind of hold those rain chances back once again. That's the pattern for the next several days. We're kind of next to this occluded front. This has some moisture associated with it. That's why we see a fairly unsettled weekend here across the area and first half of the week as well. These rain chances, at least in terms of some across the area, really aren't going anywhere. I don't think we're going to get completely dry like we used to be over the last several weeks for another while yet. I think we're going to still hold this pattern for a bit. So there are those temperatures responding to that wet pattern, right? Of course, when you're cloudy and damp, you're not going to get much warmer than about the mid 80s, right? We're going to talk about 83, 84, 85 in southern middle Tennessee and north Alabama. Better shots at about 85 or 86 down in north Alabama, but you're really not going to get much higher than that, to be honest with you. But in the extended term, well, I do think the warmth starts to return. However, check this out. So this is the outlook of the temperatures as we head into the extended term next couple of weeks or so. And of course, red means above average. And it's very above average out towards the central United States, up towards the eastern and northeastern United States, even down by Florida. But check it out here through Mississippi, Alabama, and portions of Tennessee, well, we're not going to be quite as warm as everybody else. We're actually kind of uh, getting a little shafted in terms of that, right? And that's due to the fact that precipitation chances still remain a little bit higher. But still, temperatures are trending upwards. I'll discuss what that means here in just a second when we look at the seven day. But first, let's take a look at the Build Your Day hourly forecast, currently Park courtesy Park Slumber Company, excuse me. Check it out here. About 83 to 85, right? You're not getting much warmer than that. Rain, pretty much persistent throughout the day. That really is the best way to put it. A lot of us will see rain. Not necessarily all of us, but a lot of us, right? It's the same pattern we've been in for the last several days and will be for the next several. Notice there, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday, that's that warming trend I was talking about. And, you know, it's not huge, right? We're not talking a 15 degree warm up back to 100, but we do get back to the lower 90s. So there is room for increasing those temperatures and I certainly see indications that that is happening but it's a long way yet before we get back to those true blistering temperatures. Of course I'll keep you updated with that through the weekend and Kelly and Fred will be back with you for the rest of the day today.